Some people are ordinary. The Hargreaves family are not. Thirteen-year-old number five, member of the Umbrella Academy, has developed an unusual addiction since his return from the apocalypse. Here is his story. Are you here with the documentary? Yeah, hi. Come on in. Would you like a margarita? Hi, my name's number five. I'm 58 years of age, and um, I can't live without my mannequin. Originally, when I first found her, I called her my synthetic girlfriend. But it's actually progressed to the point where it's like, you know, she's my wife. She's not awake right now because, um, well, basically, she kept hitting the snooze button. So just let her sleep. It's not even worth getting her out of bed at this point. Number five's adoptive father, Sir Reginald Hargreaves, was the founder of the Umbrella Academy. He has recently passed away. I think, um, I think what my dad would have found difficult about my relationship with Dolores is the fact that she's ordinary. No powers or anything like that. He would have seen it as unnatural or illogical. And he was the sort of person to whom anything illogical should be avoided. So, um, a bit of... Sometimes clashes occurred. Number five? I want to time travel. No. But I'm ready. You know what? You're in timeout. Get on top of that fridge. Go on, get up there. <laughs> this house is a nightmare! To be fair, the old man did say time travel could contaminate the mind. That's one of the reasons why I haven't told my siblings about her yet. As a result, Dolores spends 99.9% .9 of her time in my room. Yo. Leave it again, groceries. All right. Woohoo, we have the place to ourselves. This is probably a good gauge of when I'm happy. Um, being alone, but with her. I don't mind being alone at all. However, I cannot stand being lonely. And it's just something I hope my siblings will understand when they meet her. That's why I've chosen to tell my sister Vanya about her first. Is there a part of you that thinks this is peculiar? No. Five. She can't see. And she can't hear. One of the most fundamental elements of having an addiction is that it provides relief from pain. What was the cause of pain here? Uh, the pain? I would have to say it was caused by loneliness. Mr. Lonely, I have nobody for my own. I'm so lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. Wish I had someone to call on the phone. She was there for you. Exactly. 
And it doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly. So knock yourself out. Yes. I get it. I think it's time to tell the others. So weird. Lots of stuff to choose. She wants to make a good impression on the family tonight. This is really nice. Look at this. She likes sequins. You know, Dolores is a model. Or was a model, right, sorry. But she decided to quit after the apocalypse so that she could experience the world. Cool, huh? She's shy. Well, you are. This makes no sense. Well, it would if you were smarter. How long have you had her? 30 years, give or take. So what are you saying? That thing is your girlfriend? No. That thing is my wife. I'm taking the car. Well, that was interesting. Well, she's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. But she always knows her place. She's got style, she's got grace. She's a winner. She's a lady. Oh, 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 she's a lady. Talking about that little lady. And the lady is mine. But she's never in the way. Always something nice to say. on the fort. The relationship I have with Dolores is for my happiness. And if that's what makes me happy, you know, that's what makes me happy. So I really see no reason to change. Are we done here? I'm not even sure why this documentary is about me. I'm not the addict. Like for instance, there's Diego, wildly obsessed with knives. He said that? That little shit. But just because knives are my choice of weapon does not mean I'm obsessed with them. And don't get me started on Luther and the moon. There's only one thing worse than the Academy being destroyed. Boom. The moon! No. I don't care what your question is, but go ahead. I gotta ask, could Vanya really blow up the moon? I mean, that thing has got to be a thousand miles away. Uh, 238,900 miles. Is it? Yeah. And the diameter of the moon is 2,158.8 miles, which makes it less than a third of the width of the Earth and 81 times lighter than the Earth. And... Shut up about the moon! Shut up about the moon! 
And by the way, if Luther and Allison get married, then later get divorced, does that still make them brother and sister? Hmm. But the one with the real problem is Klaus. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stop! I could have dropped my coffee. <laughs> He's completely useless. Hi, my name is Klaus. Do you like getting high? I do too. I like getting high as often as possible, usually in graveyards. Just get that rush, get that, that fix, and keep chasing it. Because if I'm not going to have it, I'm not going to feel good. And if I'm not going to have it, I'm going to see dead people. I don't even know, honestly, what kind of drugs I put into my body. Like, I don't even care. As long as I'm getting a rush, and as long as I don't see corpses, with the exception of Ben. Sorry, man. I'll put it into my body. I am scared. He hasn't talked to anybody. Luther's out looking for him. Apparently, he's stole from Pogo again. Oh my god, there he is. What's up, bitches? You want to ride home? I want to ride home. Is five even old enough to drive? Klaus. Not funny, Diego. Oh, it's not. Can you get in the van? Do you know what today is? Klaus. Today? It's Vita Ghost and Green's Donut. We'll talk about that later, but if you don't get out of here, the cops are gonna come. If, gonna... if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops myself. So you wanna get arrested. Hey, ben, do you wanna walk home? I'm picking up my bag. You know, you, you, you literally give us five seconds to get our shit together. Are you proud of yourself? What's up, dudes? My name is number four. Number four? I have a migraine headache and would like to see my robot mom nurse. Um, 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 okay, why, why are you being arrested? I'm just being detained. I'm just being detained. You're not under arrest. I'm, I'm just being detained. No, I'm not gonna quit. I just think this is bullshit. Read your letter. <clears throat> Dear Klaus, I wanted shh. Ben's going first. <gasps> Dear Klaus, I am here today. <laughs> this is so stupid. Sometimes it's hard to understand that the brother I spent years sharing my life with and enjoying so many memories and experiences with has become the person I am confronting today. You've become a ghost. Klaus. Look who's talking. I felt empty, numb, and betrayed when you showed up at my funeral plastered and finally winding up naked in front of the entrance when people walked in and out of the reception. I will not put up with this any longer. Please. Will you get help? I needed drugs. I'll just say that. Klaus! I'm dead serious. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is too much. <laughs> you walked right into that one. Oh, shit. They want me to quit. Fine. I'll quit. Does anyone smell anything smoky? Sure is not you. <clears throat> oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What, what, what is the procedure Dad told us? It's coming from the closet! No, we, we don't know that. The smoke could be coming from an air duct. Oh my god! Okay, the apocalypse is happening. Everyone stay calm. Hey, what's the procedure? Everyone stay what's the calm. procedure, everyone? Stay Calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everyone just fucking calm down! Everything about us is insane. Okay. It always has been. Okay. okay, fine. Wait, no running in the house. Ugh. But I guess that's just what makes us family.
So, who broke it? I'm not mad. I just want to know. I did it. I broke no, it. I no, you didn't. Diego? Don't look at me. Look at Luther. What? I didn't break it. <laughs> That's weird. How do you know it was even broken? Because it's sitting right in front of us and it's broken. Suspicious. No, it's not. If it matters, Allison was the last one to use it. Luther? I don't even use that piece of crap. Oh, really? Then what were you doing by the coffee machine earlier? I used the wooden stirs to push back my cuticles. Everybody knows that, Luther. Okay, okay, let's not fight. I broke it. Let me pay for it, five. No! Who broke it? Five. Ben has been awfully quiet. Really? Yes, really. Oh my God. Oh, you can't do anything no. wrong, Ben. It's just being messed up. I broke it. It burned my hand, so I punched it. I predict 10 minutes from now, they'll be at each other's throats with war paint on their faces and Pogo's head on a stick. Good. It was getting a little chummy around here. <laughs>